Good morning. Happy Wednesday. It is July 24th and I am the Miss River Witch here with your daily reading. Um, we are going to do a single card pull this morning. So grab your tea, pull up a chair. I Look, it was a rough night last night. It was thundering and lightning. It was so loud it woke me up. And I have never, I, I do not recall a time when I was woke up from a storm, but it was crazy. So grab your tea, Rubio's, remember, it's really good for your iron levels. Um, I'm not a doctor, please talk to your doctor. <laughs> uh, just in my experience, this is something that's been really helpful for me. Um, so let's start with our card. We're gonna pull from the River Witch Oracle. Um, this card today, oh, look at that card. Okay, this is one of my favorite flowers. Um, so I'm gonna hold this up for you. This is the hydrangea. Um, hydrangeas are, if you, you can't drive a country mile here in this, in, um, in my state anyway, and not see a hydrangea bush. Everybody loves them. They are absolutely ador adorable. Um, my favorite, of course, is the purple one. And as we know, just add some pine straw to your, uh, hydrangea. If it's not one of the blue ones, right? If it's not one of those that are always blue, you can control the color of the blossoms based on the acidity of the soil. So throw some pine needles underneath it and you will have beautiful, beautiful purple blooms. Um, okay, our keywords for the hydrangea. So there's that card. Our keywords for the hydrangea are purity, love, and peace. I think this is a good card for today um, with the state of our, uh, our the, not necessarily the political climate, but I mean, there's always wars. Everybody is always fighting somewhere. And frankly, we know that people fight and um, have wars because their needs aren't being met right? That's the ultimate reason. And if you look at and study nonviolent communication, um, that's where we start to talk or, or speak uh, jackal or we speak giraffe, right? And I'm going to go into a little bit on that on Friday on my blog. So that's a little, a little uh, sneak peek for that. Um, but that's the reason why we're looking at this uh, card in the way we are, right? Uh, love, peace, and purity. We want to reach others or reach out to others with a pureness of heart. You shouldn't give to someone with the expectation to get back, right? Don't do that tit for tat kind of, of giving. That's not really giving, right? That's not giving from a place of love and a place of caring. So when we think about our card today, let's pull on that energy of giving um, to someone out of purity, out of love, out of understanding. Um, and that information, that, that energy will come back to you. Um, we know that when we send things out, if you walk into a room, I've covered this before, if you walk into a room filled with animosity, the room will change and it will be filled with animosity. So walk into that room today, whatever that room is, you know, go into that room, uh, present yourself with, with honesty, with love, with the expectation that your needs are going to be met and you're going to meet someone's the other's needs in the room and you will have a much better day. I hope this reading was helpful for you. Do you like the hydrangea? Do you have one in your front yard? What's your favorite color? Right? Is it pink? Is it blue? Is it purple? Tell me a little bit about what you have in your area. Um, you can continue to reach out directly. I love those messages, but remember to add your comments. They may help someone else. Have a fabulous day and I'll talk with you soon.